Dill Lolly, am I right? Fucking A. You guys remember what things were like 90 days ago? <sighs> or do you guys remember when we had a, a president that would, you know, try to try to calm everybody down if uh, when when bad shit happens? Um, you know, I'm, I guess I'm not saying that that's better or worse because it seems like things are really, really happening now um, and, and accelerated. Yeah. Anyway, my name is Sean Bonnet. Um, I'm in Tucson, Arizona, and I'm uh, tonight I'm going to play some songs to try to raise money for the Black People's Justice Fund in Phoenix. It's, uh, oh, there you guys go. Um, yeah, it's established in part by some old friends of mine from Phoenix uh, who have formed the Black Phoenix Organizing Collective. Hey guys, <laughs> uh, good to see you. I'll be in touch. But yeah, thank you very much. Welcome to Live from Quarantine. Uh, I'm going to start off with this song. Someone sent me a message recently and they, they told me a very touching story related to this one. This is called Love in the Time of Human Papillomavirus. It 
so lonesome I can't breathe. Sometimes I get so scared that I can't speak. Sometimes I get so worried I can't hear my heartbeat. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, shit, shit, yeah. Looks like uh, looks like some donations have been rolling in. Next time it happens, I'll uh, I'll try to see what the number is to get everybody hyped up. Um, <laughs> in the meantime, my band put out a single a couple days ago. It's a Silver Juice cover. So I played this a couple days ago, but I'm gonna play it again. I'm probably play it a couple times. Try to keep it in the rotation. was Candy Jail by the Silver Jews. Hmm. What's the next jam? What am I going to play next, eh? Let's see. First off. Um, for those of you uh, tuning in recently, I'm raising money for uh, the Black People's Justice Fund of Phoenix. Some, uh, some pals of mine in the Black Phoenix Organizing Collective set it up to, uh, to, bail, out, um, to bail out people, black people, in Phoenix, it's pretty pretty self-explanatory, honestly, but it's a it's a very good cause and one that is quite necessary right now. I want to say something about uh, 
people arguing against the destruction of property during these rebellions. And um, I'd have to say that uh, that the Boston Tea Party, those those people did it, and it worked pretty pretty well. And um, Jesus even did it. He went into you know he went to the temple, and a bunch of fuckers outside were selling bootleg God stuff, and he uh, he destroyed their property, and no one gave Jesus any shit for it. I mean, I guess they did. They crucified him, but uh, <laughs> they uh, they shouldn't have done that. What should I play next? Let's see. Well, Jesus shouldn't have destroyed that property. Girl. Mm. Last week I saw you at the junkie church. You told me all the things I need to hear. Like I've got a heart of gold and a kind and open soul. So we went and bought ourselves a can of beer. Steel Reserve. I was manic at the clinic. I was feeling like my body disappeared. My tongue rolling around in the void inside my mouth. It was infinite and brown and kind of weird. Infinite. And the waiting room was pissing in my ear. The waiting room was pissing in my ear So we went and bought another can of beer Steel Reserve Oh, I love you cause I love you cause I can I love you cause I love you cause I can Last time I tried to go to sleep My head expanded in an air balloon of words thousand conversations with your disembodied voice in a cacophony of adjectives and verbs air balloon and on your last night at saint mary's you were way too intoxicated to breathe so i used your ribs as ladders and i climbed up on your chest and i jumped up and down just like a trampoline trampoline Ambulance was mean as it could be. It melted both my tannies to the street. That night I stole a candy bar from Circle K. Milky Way. Oh, I love you cause I love you cause I can. I love you cause I love you cause I can. Oh, I I love you cause I love you cause I can I love you cause I love you cause I can Oh I love you cause I love you cause I can I love you cause I love you cause I can Thank you, that song was called Junkie Church Let's see, I'm gonna take a look at some comments real quick uh, I'm going to do a Simon and Garfunkel cover now. I've, uh, I love this song very much. I've never fully nailed it. A winter's day In a deep and dark December from my window to the streets below on a freshly fallen silent shroud of snow I am a rock I am an island oh I've built walls a fortress deep and mighty that none may No use for friendship, friendship causes pain. It's laughter and it's loving I disdain. I am a rock, I am an island. No talk of love, though I've heard the word before. Don't 
disturb the slumber of feelings that have died. If I never loved, I never would have cried. I am a rock. I am an island. I have my books and my poetry to protect me. within my womb hiding in my room I touch no one and no one touches me I am a rock I am an island and a rock feels no pain and an island never cries Thank you very much. <laughs> that was I'm a Rock by Simon and Garfunkel. <laughs> uh, so for those of you that don't don't usually watch this, uh, my Instagram live feeds, I've, uh, I do them every day. I've been doing them every day since the quarantine started for me, like probably, I think it was March 15th I've been doing these. Um, so uh, yeah, if you're ever bored at 7.30, uh, Pacific Standard Time and you feel like watching me play some songs, I'll be there. Although I think maybe after 100 episodes I might move down to a couple few fewer days a week or so, but who knows. Um, till then, I'm definitely on it every night. And it's, it's been very fun. I've, uh, it's kept my voice in really good shape and my guitar playing and I, I can feel myself kind of improving and getting better at performing, so it's, I'm getting a lot out of it. It's, uh, it's, it's enjoyable and a little bit pathological. Um, but, uh, yeah. Anyway, I played this one yesterday, but I'm going to play it again because uh, it's, it's about how it's different, how, how we live in a couple different kind, a, a few different Americas, I think is maybe the easiest way to put that. But this one's called American Tune. I am white and I've got everything I need. No one clutches their purses when they're in a room alone with me. And I can jog in any neighborhood I please. At any hour and nobody will murder me. So if I see a penny on the ground, I leave it alone or fucking flip it. I'm a straight white male in America I've got all the luck I need And I'm a man getting paid more than a girl with a degree And I can stand where I want at a show and no one will grope me And I can get a woman pregnant and just as easily flee Just like a straight white male I see a penny on the ground I leave it alone or fucking flip it I'm a straight white male in America I've got all the luck I need I've got a pile of broken mirrors and I'm walking under ladders and spilling loads of salt because to me that doesn't matter because my skin and my gender and my orient are the best things to have when you live in this nation Beats the cock off of affirmative action Oh yeah So if I see a penny on the ground I leave it alone or fucking flip it I'm a straight white male in America Maybe that was called American Tune. And this one is called Psychic Warfare. It's about the power of protest and about of uh, 
and about the power of, of trying to mentally destroy something. And in this case, it's, uh, it's white supremacy and our white supremacist president. Psychic warfare. I'm gonna murder you with my brain. Psychic warfare. Every fiber of my being is devoted to causing you pain. You motherfucker. I'm gonna kill you with my mind. This is psychic warfare. Psychic warfare. Painted a portrait of you in pastel. children you lock up in prison for all those rights you roll back in your constant stream of racism for all those poison you drip in my ear for all your ugly american fear i wrote you this beautiful song called psychic warfare Thank you very much. This song is for all the animal lovers out there. Black dog I see daily, nightly, monthly, yearly, sweetly, dearly. She says, when you pet me, I feel neatly rub my paws please and scratch my belly in the evening i try songwriting i'm self-loathing but i love singing i'll try escaping these evil feelings but they keep coming they keep coming are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. This one's by uh, my old friend Teague Cullen, who goes by the name Foot Ox when he performs music. Searching for help for me and my baby All these cigarettes help us stay mysterious and thin He believes in me, so I'll believe in him I can go off the deep end I can kill all my best friends I can follow those stylish trends And God knows I could make amends But I've got an angry heart Filled with cancers and poppy talk this is how you folks make art. Well, that's fucked. 
fucking depressing And it's sad to know that we are not alone And it's sad to know there's no honest way out I'm afraid to leave the house I'm as timid as a mouse I'm afraid if I go out I'll outwear my well go home I'm not a courageous man I don't have any big lasting plans I'm too cowardly to take a stand I want to keep my nose clean And it's sad to know That we're not alone in this And it's sad to know There's no honest way out In this life we lead we could conquer everything If we could just get the brave To get out of bed in the morning And I broke that fucking promise On a very sharp rock And I was possessed by something Quite unfriendly And I was haunted by a demon in my sleep And that's how I learned how to survive I gave a beer to a bum who was drinking And I gave some sauce to my best friend for cooking And I gave water to all I thought were thirsty That's how I learned how to survive And I give my money to the landlord for safekeeping And oh no, I give my money to a bank for safekeeping And I give my money to my landlord because he's a dick And I give attention to the TV that was bleeding Oh, that's how I learned how to survive <laughs> Oh, if you ain't got the do re mi boys, if you ain't got the do re mi well, you'd better go back to beautiful Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Georgia, Tennessee. California is a garden of Eden, a paradise to live in or see. But believe it or not, you won't find it so hot if you ain't got the do re mi And sometimes I steal my songs from Woody Guthrie, and I butter Astro a haunt for named Alice and I fed false information to the audience so that's how I learned how to survive and I give a thank you to my father for not raising me and I give a middle finger to my stepfather for beating me and I give the fucking props to myself for achieving god damn I am glad that I survived god damn I am surprised that I survived giant load of gibberish and I give love to a lover quite deserving of it and I give thanks to all of you for listening to the story of how we learned how to survive thank you very much let's see let's uh let's let's check the tally really quick I'm gonna just going to be on pause for a second. All right. Now we are at 784. Please keep donating. I said that I'd round it up to a grand if, uh, if we didn't make it to there. And uh, I'm happy to donate, but I don't want to do all that. Um, but I will. I, uh, t so I put, this, I put this shit on YouTube, and usually I play next to a painting or some kind of sign or something. And uh, today I, I decided to play next to my skateboard that I started riding. This is my new setup, and it's got a great grip tape job by my friend, Matt, who uh, lives in Saskatoon, Canada, and he makes grip tape stencils under the name Arguably Art. He rules, and um, he, uh, yeah, he made me a, he made a Baby Yoda. What's up, Baby Yoda? And uh, yeah, I'm riding the, uh, the AJJ Good Luck Everybody board. We have a bunch of them, <laughs> and they're just my size. Hell yeah. Donations are rolling in. I'm gonna do a Beck cover. This one's really fun. Cyanide Breath Mint. Definitely this is the wrong place to be. There's blood on the futon. There's a kid drinking fire going down to the sea. They've got people to meet shaking hands with themselves looking out for themselves. Ask you for credit, give 
give them a branch and when they want you to get it chew on the grass i know i know because they told me to tell you there's nothing to tell you there's nothing to sell you in the afternoon riding the scapegoat burning equipment decomposing cool off your jets take off your sweats i've got a funny new feeling they got plastic in the afterlife into the sky and when they suck your mind like a pigeon you'll fly i know i know it's the positive people running from their time looking for some feeling cyanide breath mint by beck isn't that just a nice compact little piece of uh of psychedelic folk brilliance. Jesus. Love it. It's like Sid Barrett. I've tried to cover Sid Barrett. It's really hard. Um, but you all should listen to Sid Barrett. The Madcap Laughs is a really, really sweet album. Let's see. You guys like Elliot Smith?
It's okay, it's all right, nothing's wrong. Tell Mr. Man with impossible plans to just leave me alone in the place where I make no mistakes. In the place where I have what it takes, I'm never gonna know you now, but I'm gonna love you. Thank you. That was Waltz Number Two by Elliot Smith. Um, yeah, I should probably. Uh. I've got a couple more songs left. For those of you just tuning in, I'm raising money today for the Black People's Justice Fund, put together by my friends at the uh, the Black Phoenix Organizing Collective. And uh, here we go. I think that's a better way to do it. Man, this show is brought to you by Gaff Tape. Gaff Tape rules. I hope that our few remaining friends give up on trying to save us. I hope they come off with a fail-safe plot to piss off the dumb few that forgave us. I hope the fences we mended fall down beneath their own weight and i hope we hang on past the last exit i hope it's already too late and i hope the junkyard a few blocks from here someday burns down and i hope the rising black smoke carries me far away and i never come back to this town again in my life i hope i lie and tell and I hope you die I hope we both die I hope I cut myself shaving tomorrow And I hope it bleeds all day long our friends say it's darkest before the sun rises, but we're pretty sure they're all wrong. I hope it stays dark forever, and I hope the worst isn't over. I hope you blink before I do, and I hope I never get sober. And I hope when you think of me years down the line, you can't find one good thing to say. And I hope if I found the strength to walk out, you'd stay the hell out of my way. No Children by the Mountain Goats. That song is badass. <laughs> Robin Hood and Little John walking through the forest, laughing back and forth at what the other has to say. Reminiscing this and that and having such a good time. Oodle lolly, oodle lolly, golly, what a day. Never ever dreaming there was danger in the water they were drinking, they just guzzled it down. Never dreaming that a scheming sheriff and his posse was a watching them and gathering around. Robin Hood and Little John running through the forest, jumping fences, dodging trees, and trying to get away. 
contemplating nothing but escaping, finally making it. Oodle lolly, oodle lolly, golly, what a day. Oodle lolly, oodle lolly, golly, what a day. That was, uh, that was Roger Miller's Oodle Lolly from uh, Disney's Robin Hood. Suck my ass, Disney. Assume me all you want. I got nothing. It's all going to... <laughs> it's all going to bail people out. Not really. Um, I'm going to play uh, I'm going to play one, maybe two more. And uh, this has been this has been a really fun show. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all so much for donating. Um, yeah, the money is going into these these accounts that I've provided and uh, I'll I'll screenshot a receipt um, when uh, when the tran when the transfer has been made. Oh, let's see. Hey, we, we broke a grand for sure, without a doubt now. Um, <laughs> that's fucking awesome. I will, uh, I will donate anyway, because I'm a good guy. Hey, what's the deal with virtue signaling? Like, people say it like it's, uh, people use it as kind of a slur, but isn't it just like being vocal about the things you think are right? Isn't it like saying that you should do the right thing and stuff? I've never understood the virtue signaling as a slur. Um, I don't know. Yeah. Signal your virtue, motherfuckers. Signal it loud. Signal it proud. Hmm. This one's called Big Bird. I'm afraid of the way that I live my life. I'm afraid of the way I don't. I'm afraid of the things that I wanna do, but I won't. I'm afraid of God. I'm afraid to believe, and I'm afraid of all the loved ones that I've made leave. I'm afraid that my dog doesn't love me anymore. And I'm afraid of the social laziness that let Kitty Genovese die. I'm afraid of the mob mentality that makes other under the city doesn't give a damn about me and it dies every night by burning alive I'm afraid of my grandfather's cancer and I'm afraid of my mom's dying arm I'm afraid that
little knife man. Thank you very much. That song was called Knife Man. Or, uh, no, it wasn't. It was called, that song was called Big Bird. Um, and this one's by the Beatles. This is my last song. Thank you all so much for watching and for donating. Um, yeah, this is, uh, we're getting through this. And you've all done a lot of great good today. Thank you. Her Majesty's a pretty nice girl, but she doesn't have a lot to say. Her Majesty's a pretty nice girl, but she changes from day to day. I want to tell her that I love her a lot. I want to tell her that I love her a lot, but I got to get a belly full of wine. Her Majesty's a pretty nice girl, someday I'm going to make her mine. Her Majesty's a pretty nice girl, but she doesn't have a lot to say. Her Majesty's a pretty nice girl, but she changes from day to day. I want to tell her that I love her a lot, but I gotta get a belly full of wine. Her Majesty's a pretty nice girl, someday I'm gonna make her mine. Someday I'm gonna make her mine. <laughs> that sucked. Uh, cool. Thanks. Thank you very much, everybody. This has been a good, fun show. See you tomorrow.